is the document obtained by Mug Club Undercover shows that the figure is much higher. Wow. Dylan Mulvaney was paid by Bud Light. Oh my God, this is the best day of my life. Uh. What's up, guys? It's your boy Benny. Zebras don't change their stripes, and leopards don't change their spots, and liars are liars forever. You should not be drinking Bud Light because they lie to you, and because they support things that are destroying our country. But ladies and gentlemen, we have caught Bud Light in the biggest lie, and we are very, very excited to demonstrate it here for you. So Bud Light lied to you and its paying customer, saying that Dylan Mulvaney marketing campaign was one single can, that it wasn't a formal campaign. They said it again and again and again. This was the official line that they trotted out as the entire brand got absolutely obliterated. Bud Light had a single can and it wasn't an official campaign and it wasn't approved, they said. That's what Bud Light said. Even Bud Light CEO by clarifying a few saying facts. this. Listen, this was the result of one can. It was not made for production or sale to general public. It was one post, not a formal campaign. When you catch them in one lie, what else are they lying about? If they lie about the little things, will they lie about the big things? Ladies and gentlemen, Dylan Mulvaney did not have just one post with Bud Light. Dylan Mulvaney had a bunch of posts with Bud Light. And now we know what Dylan Mulvaney was getting paid by Bud Light for these posts. Thanks to the great Steven Crowder, who has uncovered the Bud Light payout to Dylan Mulvaney. And it is a astonishing amount. Let's just say that Bud Light while they have lost billions of dollars, ain't done yet. Because people are gonna be furious when they see this one, baby. So this is according to Steven Crowder's uh, show, and this is Steven Crowder's website right here. Bud Light paid Dylan Mulvaney a lot more to destroy their company. Steven Crowder has broken that Bud Light paid $185,000 to Dylan Mulvaney, this according to a spreadsheet that was leaked to the Crowder show. And this spreadsheet shows other influencers, Jenna Ortega, Neil Patrick Harris, uh, Martha Stewart. Crowder has posted this screenshot saying that this is the Bud Light payment to Dylan Mulvaney. $185,000 for these posts, for the destruction of this com company. This was them testing the waters uh, with this influencer to see uh, if this should be a long-term partnership. So not only do we know that Anheuser-Busch lied about this being a single, this wasn't a campaign, this was a single post, obviously demonstrably untrue. This is Dylan Mulvaney's Instagram right here. Multiple posts, multiple campaigns, and now we know. Bud Light parent company, Anheuser-Busch, blamed the third-party marketing company, Captivate, for sending Mulvaney the can of Bud Light uh, featuring the image. Uh, Captivate describes itself as an end-to-end -end influencer marketing that provides tools and services to run high-performing influencer campaign. There is no doubt that um, this leaked screenshot comes from Captivate. Mug Club exclusive audio obtained by Louder with Crowder reveals a phone call that confirmed that there was panic in Captivate uh, and seems like this Screenshot shows exactly what Dylan Mulvaney was being paid for this partnership. Wow. This is how they thank you, by the way. Conservatives, by and large, sports fans, make up the vast majority of the base of Bud Light's customer base. And this is what they are willing to pay to spit in your face and to desecrate your worldviews and to bring politics into the brands that you love, enjoy, and consume. Wow. Incredible work. Obviously, uh, by the team at at at, at Stephen Crowder's company here, Stephen Crowder uh, tweeting this, along with the follow up of the screenshot. So this is the screenshot here. Some of these numbers have been blacked out. Uh, this was leaked, presumably by that marketing company, that influencer marketing company uh, that was repping uh, Dylan Mulvaney. But we we don't know if 
they still have a relationship or not. $185,000. This was paid, by the way, in, in the middle of the boycott for Bud Light. This was paid in May. That's when the Bud Light boycott, which started in March, the very end of March, really kicked off. And what effect does that have? Well, Anheuser-Busch's marketing chief just over the last 24 hours has resigned, stepped down as Bud Light sales sink. This from CNN. Anheuser-Busch's uh, marketing chief officer stepping down as the company reported a slump in sales, backlash to the beer continues, uh, will be resigning at the end of the year in order to embark on a new chapter in career, Anheuser-Busch said of the marketing chief marketing officer. He'd been the chief marketing officer for over two years. Wow. Okay. So that means that he is, uh, that means that he oversaw this. The world's biggest brewer reported a 13% decline in third quarter, quarter U.S. revenue per 100 liters, a key measure of beer sales. Brands Bud Light consumers abandoned the beer as it partnered with Dylan Mulvaney. Botch responds to the controversy. Uh, the executive reshuffling will reduce layers within our organization, LOL. Uh, a 29% decline in the Bud Light brand. Well, what does that mean for the Bud Light brand? Well, that means billions, 27 billion gone. Uh, 27 billion gone. Well, that makes this the most expensive marketing campaign in human history. This didn't cost, and Bud Light paid for it. So they paid $185,000 to Dylan Mulvaney to wipe $27 billion off of their bottom line, and it gets worse. They just stopped buying. Bud Light is now selling for less than water in some U.S. warehouses. Is Bud Light stock too cheap to pass up? Yeah, Bill Gates is paying for plenty of it. <laughs> what does that tell you? Mm. Bill Gates is buying Bud Light stock. Yeah, got it. Bill Gates loves it. Bud Light set to lose shelf space, major retailers intensifying boycott and woes. A nationwide reset, shelf space could solidify sales decline. So Bud Light, that has been hammered in the most successful boycott in American history, uh, now effectively has lost refrigerator space in a vast network of stores belonging to key beer sellers like Walmart and 7-Eleven, since retailers typically reapportion shelf space based on recent sales performance. We had clip after clip after clip showing this, where guys are just like, we can't give away Bud Light, so we're just not going to stock it anymore. I know a number of bars that did this. We went to Nashville and actually covered this. There were a number of bars in Nashville where you just literally couldn't sell Bud Light anymore. And that's not even the worst of their problems. Ted Cruz is now saying that there needs to be Senate investigations because Dylan Mulvaney's audience on these posts are primarily geared towards people who are under the age of 21. And by using Dylan Mulvaney, that you, you are effectively targeting children, right, with these campaigns. And it is a campaign, Anheuser-Busch. When they lie about the little things, they'll lie about the big things. What else are they lying about? This is clearly an immoral company, obviously, that probably needs to lose its entire executive team from stem to stern. And speaking of stern, Donald Trump and Kid Rock apparently had stern words with the CEO of Bud Light. Bud Light is trying to buy back into the good graces of conservatives, got a uh, ear whipping by Donald Trump and Kid Rock uh, at a UFC match. Amazing stuff. Listen to Kid Rock uh, talk about this and know next time you're selecting the beer that you want to drink, that Bud Light put a hundred at least $185,000 into Dylan Mulvaney's bank account, lied to you about it in order to insult you and spit in your face. Hopefully that's what Donald Trump did to the CEO of Bud Light. Watch. Well, I'm a huge fan of Dana White. I saw you with President Trump and Dana and, and Tucker, and you guys all went to the uh, M MMA, what was it, the Garden? I UFC, think, right? yeah. The UFC. Garden. All right, so he was on this show. I saw. And it was about Bud Light. So he took, <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> he, took, he took on as a sponsor. Now, I'll tell you why I've never my whole life ever supported a boycott. I've never called for a firing or a cancellation ever. I mean, even people that I can't stand, like Bill. By the Martin. way, I didn't either. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so the, what I worried about in that case was the guys that have the, the yeah, beer the working route. class people. 
Right. The guys that work in the factory, the guys that load yeah. the trucks, they're not the guys that made that stupid, you know. Oh, they had no dog in this fight at all. It's right. actually funny. Speaking of that UFC fight, I'm standing there with our favorite president. Right. And someone comes over to like the CEO of Anheuser Busch standing right behind you. Right. So I go to the POTUS. I'm like, hey, that's the CEO of Anheuser Busch. Trump's like, you want to go talk to him? I'm like, I do. <laughs> so <laughs> I... me and him go over. We actually had a great conversation. Really? Because, you know, if you put this in context, why, does, why did this start? It's like, you know, I told him that night, I go, you signaled to a lot of people like myself, like-minded people. Put the trans thing aside for a minute, right? I was like, but by sending that can to the trans kid, you kind of signaled to us <clears throat> you support this lifestyle, and more importantly, like men being in women's sports or in my granddaughter's locker room. Most of us draw a hard line right there. Nah, 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 nah. What, like, what are you, you have doing? a granddaughter. You, you're like got 40, two grandkids. You're like 42 years old. Well, go it ahead. Get, it gets cold in Detroit, Sean. <laughs> yeah, I guess it does. <laughs> so I said, you signaled that to us. I said, but speaking of, I was like, I was like, you know, if someone wants to be trans, I was like, I didn't rip that kid. I said, F you guys. I said, I didn't even say boycott or cancel. I said, F you. I said, what are you doing? Injecting yourself into this conversation, these polarizing social issues. I was like, you know, you could be doing so much more positive stuff, just making us laugh and drink beer. But I said, I said, if someone wants to dress up like a girl, they want to be transgender or whatever. A lot of people fought and died for them to do that. Go for it. We can coexist, you know, in public places. You might not be my first dinner invite, you know what I mean? And I'm probably not yours. And if you're gay, no one cares anymore, right? We all got gay family members, gay friends, great co gay co-workers. It's like, cut it out, just be gay. You know, How about, I'm not gonna clap you know what I hear for you. You know what I hear from you saying? You believe in freedom. Yeah. But if you want to indoctrinate kids in school. That's what, that's right. I tell my, I, 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 let me, let me say this to the trans and gay community right now. Be yourself. That's cool. You're cool with me. I'm cool with you. That's what most people are. But as soon as you bring our kids into this, that's where you're going to bring hatred into it. Leave our freaking kids out of it.